2019 has been the year of the Yeezy 700s. What's going on everyone? My name's Roscoe and welcome to the channel. So we have seen 13 pairs of Yeezy 700s and in today's video, I'm gonna rank them all. Now there's gonna be three colorways that will not be included in this video and that is the 700 V2 Statics, the Wave Runners, and also the Mob. Those colorways dropped in 2018. This list is 2019 only. And overall, I think it was a great year for the Yeezy 700. I even predicted this early 2018. I said that 2019 was gonna be nothing but 700s. And without further ado, Let's dive in. Now number 13 on my list has to be my least favorite colorway. And it's not because I like really hate this color, it's just because I just found it so unnecessary. The 700 salts. Now at the end of 2018, we just got the 500 salts. And then within two months of 2019, they give us that same exact colorway on the 700s. Granted, on the 700s you do have that nice touch of black on the heel. But other than that, they really didn't change it up at all. It would have been nice if they added more black on this shoe because I feel like the black and the salt colorway works really well. Just to split up the shoe and make it different, I would have loved this shoe. I need a break on the salt colorway for now, and that's why I have to put it at 13 on my list. Now number 12 on my list is the colorway I feel isn't bad, but is it necessary? The 700 Utility Black. You know, it's a repeat colorway that we saw in a 500 that they went and slapped it on a 700. Granted, the 700 comes with a gum bottom, which I know a lot of you guys are a fan of. It looks pretty dope on this shoe. Like, they could do crazy stuff with the color blocking on this shoe, just like they did with the Wave Runner, that just doing it all black on the upper really doesn't do this shoe justice at all. And plus, we just saw an all black 700 V2 release right around that same time. So having back-to-back -back all black 700s really wasn't necessary. And that's why I have to put this shoe at number 12, the Utility Black 700. Now number 11 on my list is a colorway I think you'd probably have much higher on yours. I just prefer the V1 more, the 700 V2 Inertia. I mean, it's a great looking colorway on this shoe. The same colorway on the V1 that released early in 2019 and they went around and slapped it on the V2, you know, a few months later. The V1 released at a better time. I mean, it released in the springtime, and I feel like the Inertia colorway just looks better for the spring. Now, this shoe did quite well. I mean, it sold out, and it was a really hard shoe to find. I mean, I was down at SneakerCon Washington, D.C., and I couldn't find this shoe anywhere. You know, and honestly, I don't even see anyone wearing this sneaker at all. I mean, it's pretty rare to see someone wearing a V2 Inertia. The resale price on the Inertias for the V2 is right around 350 bucks, and it looks like it's climbing now. But I just prefer it on the V1. And that's why I put in it at number 11, the V2 Inertia. Now number 10 on my list is a colorway that I felt like was just missing that wow factor. And that is the Hospital Blue 700 V2. I mean, it's a nice color blue and it has that nice hint of metallic silver on the side on those drips, which I do will say looks nice on this shoe. And then I do like that they went back to the Vanta 3M where it's just that one line going up the sneaker on each side. But there's just so many blue Yeezys that dropped this year. I mean, you had the hospital blue, the carbon blue, you know, you had the teal blue. Especially if you're paying 300 bucks for a 700. I don't know, it just didn't really do it for me and I wish they just added a little bit more to it. That's why I have to put at number 10, the hospital blue 700 V2, but I will say, that name, Hospital Blue, was pretty cool. Now number nine on my list, like I was super excited for this sneaker once we saw first images of it, but we were due. The Teal Blue 700s. Colorway just feels super, super earth tone. Like you do have that nice hint of teal on the side. This shoe does come with an extra set of laces, which in fact is neon orange, which is a first for Yeezy to give us an extra set of laces. But for me, again, it didn't make me want to rush out and buy it. So that's why at number nine, I have to put the teal blue 700s. Now number eight on my list is a sneaker that's slowly going up my list. I wish I caught this one in all honestly. Just yay Semba was just so packed. And I'm talking about the carbon blue 700s. Now at first when I saw this shoe, I was just like, 
this is gonna be a pass for me. You know, there's just so many Yeezys. You had so many 350s. You had that 700 V3 drop in that this one, I thought maybe I could get it below retail, but this shoe sold out and it's quickly above $300 now and it looks like it's gonna climb and it looks awesome. I like that carbon blue color. It's on the tongue and on the laces and it pops. And then you have that nice orange drips on the side. I seen this shoe on feet too and it just looks awesome, man. If they just held off and maybe dropped this in the spring of 2020, I would have definitely caught this shoe. Again, it was just so many releases dropping that I have to put it in the middle at number eight. You know, maybe I'll cop it in 2020, give you guys a review on this shoe. But overall, at number eight, I'm putting the carbon blue 700s. And I could see quickly this shoe and climbing up my list for sure. Now, number seven on my list, I'm putting the geodes. I just feel like this colorway was executed perfectly. You know, you have that nice shade of chocolate brown on the side, especially that nice patch of leather here. You have a nice dark gray sole, but my favorite part on this shoe has to be the toe box. It's in a nice light gray colorway that definitely pops on this shoe. The whole side lights up, 3M laces. Now you can get this shoe well below under retail, which is quite surprising, but I definitely recommend it. It's definitely one of my favorite 700 V2 colorways. And that's why at number seven, I'm putting the Geodes. Now number six on my list has to be one of the most underrated Yeezys for 2019. The Analogs. Roscoe, this is just an all white sneaker, but it's really not. There's so many mixtures of whites, creams, and tans on this shoe that I think this shoe just looks fire, man. My favorite part has to be the white out white color that you see on the drips on the side and also here near the toe box. I mean, this shoe is just executed perfectly. And what I love about this shoe is that you can dress this down, dress this up, you can wear it for any occasion. I'm a huge fan of the analogs and that's why I have to put it at number six on my list, the 700 analog. Now number five on my list, the V1 inertia. Now the V2 inertia I had towards the bottom of my list and that's just because the V1 colorway on this shoe just looks way better. You know, the color blocking on this shoe is executed perfectly. You have that nice icy blue on the toe box and on the side. And then you have that bluish gray on the sole. My favorite part has to be those peach drips on the side. Definitely gives the shoe a pop though. The cream white bottoms, it does get trashed very easily. Another thing I will say, this shoe looks awesome on women. Overall, it's a great spring sneaker. I'm definitely gonna be wearing it this upcoming spring in 2020, and that's why I have to put this at number five, the V1 700 Inertia. Now, number four on my list might come to a surprise for a lot of people, but it's been one of my favorite colorways, the V2 Tefras. Now, I love the whole split look to this shoe, where you have a nice dark shade of gray on the bottom, and then you have nice light tan upper. I mean, the shoe looks awesome on feet. Now they also did a material swap on this shoe. So it was the first time they featured neoprene. So they swapped out the tongue and also the siding is different. I will say that makes the shoe super, super comfortable. I will say that this colorway kind of gives the shoe more of like a high end designer look. And that's why I've always been a fan of it. It's surprising though, this shoe didn't do quite well. I mean, it tanked on release day and it also has little to no resale value at all. It really doesn't bother me because this has definitely been one of my favorite 700s to release in 2019. And that's why at number four, I'm putting the Tefras. Now, number three on my list, the 700 Magnets. Now, me and this sneaker have a funny story. I did like a five to seven hour live stream trying to cop this shoe all night trying to see when this shoe was gonna drop. And then Yeezy Mafia put out a tweet at like 12 o'clock and he said the sneaker was delayed. I was pissed because I stayed up all night trying to cop this shoe. Like it released on Yeezy Supply, which was a US exclusive. So this shoe wasn't available out in the EU, but I love the colorway on this shoe. Like they went with the Wave Runner sole, and then I like how on the front of the shoe, like on the toe, it's like a darker shade of gray, and then on the heel, it's like a lighter shade of gray. Now the shoe does have neoprene material, so the tongue is different. The shoe is just super, super comfortable. But overall, this has been one of my favorite colorways of the Yeezy 700 is the Magnet, and just the name Magnet. Now number two on my list, could certainly be number one because number one caught us by surprise. Like I honestly didn't think that shoe was releasing in 2019. But number two, the V2 Vantas. And you're probably scratching your head right now. Like this is just an all black Yeezy. I have been waiting for this sneaker to drop since 2018 
We have seen so many images of Ye wearing this shoe, but what I really love about this shoe is that it kind of has that sort of vampire look. I mean, this shoe is just straight badass. It's definitely one of my most worn Yeezys for 2019. It's just an all black Yeezy, but it looks awesome on feet. Well, overall, this has to be one of the best 700 colorways. It's triple black, but the 3M hints on it. Definitely see this sneaker keep going up as far as resale prices. So I think like probably summertime next year in 2020, if this shoe doesn't restock, I feel like this shoe could definitely hit $450, $500 easy. So number two, I'm putting the Vantas. Now number one, this sneaker, Really shouldn't come to any surprise, but it's definitely one of the best sneakers. I've said it, the sneaker of the year, the 700 V3s. I honestly didn't think this shoe was gonna release in 2019. I mean, we only saw leaked images of this shoe early fall. It has that whole futuristic approach to it. It definitely has like a basketball sneaker vibe, which I absolutely dig. The exoskeleton, the waves across the prime knit, the whole redesigned bottom, and for 200 bucks as far as a price tag is concerned. But I'm just curious to see where this shoe goes in 2020. You know, I'm definitely interested to see more colorways. I know we're probably gonna get like a triple black, which will look awesome on this shoe. I've worn this a ton already. I cannot wait to see what they have in store for us in 2020 with the 700 V3, and it's definitely number one. So that is my list for you guys today. So down in the comments, let me know what's your top five 700s that dropped for 2019. If you did enjoy, go ahead and smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. And like always, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.